Right, welcome back. Our next guest is an entrepreneur, economist, and power sector specialist. And of course, she's one of the key players in the beauty industry. We covers agro beauty farm skincare brands and of course natural ingredients Joyce I wish you could welcome to the show Joyce nice to meet you <laughs> <laughs> so what's the difference between Joyce and Joyce two e's in my name we have two e's in your <laughs> name all right so let's just get started on first of all your life as a serial business guru yeah you, you literally have almost 13 years experience if not more counting Ooh. yeah yes yeah, Okay, first. great. So, um, like you said, I've been an entrepreneur for a while. Mm -hmm. um, I actually started my first entrepreneurial gig at a young age as a child. So it's always mm. been something that's a passion of mine. But um, I moved to Nigeria in 2012. It was my first time in the country. Mm. And I literally felt like I was in a place that had so many Opportunity. opportunities, mm. so many sectors untapped. Mm. And so for me, that became a journey to kind of put Nigeria on the map in this space. I think we're talking clean beauty today, right? Mm. Natural ingredients, natural skincare. And so I began to create a company that basically the mm. vision and the mission was to showcase the plethora of ingredients mm. in Nigeria and Africa and turn them into finished, luxurious, personal grooming products and distribute them around the world. Mm, nice. Well, now the focus is really on the orientation of the public on organic yeah. products because mm -hmm. organic lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, it's been all kinds of lifestyles when it comes to beauty, but organic is like what a lot of people are getting into. So let's talk about the orientation of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so interesting enough, I felt like when I got in the space and even now, we still have a long way to go on the public being sensitized on the power and importance of organic and natural and using things that are clean. Mm -hmm. You know, they say like what you put in your body, what you put on your body, really matters so i remember starting out in the industry and people saying nigerians aren't ready mm. nigerians don't want organic but as you rightly said um towards the end things have changed mm. and a lot of times we are a nation that follows what the western world is doing and all over the world people are talking about green clean organic natural mm. know your ingredient label and so i find that nigerians and africans are beginning to kind of wake up and realize that oh maybe i should pay attention you know and more and more the public is becoming more aware of why it's important mm -hmm. um it would still take a lot of work it would okay. still take the sector coming together but it definitely has made a lot there's been progress so so when we say organic what do we say is this what are the examples of organic products just yeah. for emphasis yeah so think about shea butter uh -huh. and the fact that you take a shea nut and you process it into this luxurious butter that we then can use for burns, mm. for skin care, for dryness, for hair care. And we're saying that from the entire process, from the farm, all the way to that finished product, it can be an organic product. Mm. Think about hibiscus. Mm. In the northern part, people use hibiscus in other parts to grow their hair, mm. you know, to moisturize their hair, to nourish their hair. Um, cola nuts. I mean, it's, it's untapped, really. Mm -hmm. Cola nut, for example, is a powerful ingredient when it comes to hair care. And then you also want to talk about skincare, moringa, um, cocoa hair, butter. Cocoa butter. Yeah, all these Those things natural. are here, found mm -hmm. in this great nation and in this continent, wow. but we're not using it the way we can. But well, then comparing it to th synthetic products, I mean, some people say, yeah. yeah, they need to mix it. You have lots of people <laughs> that are mixing it. Are you for against the mixing? Because I'm seem to do that. You know, you know. Do we have time today to discuss that? <laughs> <laughs> um, Joycey personally is all about using natural okay, ingredients. Yeah. You know, I just believe that there's power. A lot of times people are impatient, mm. and that's where the whole mixing comes in. Oh, this can work fast, fast, fast. Well, we've always heard mm. things that work fast often don't last. True. So it's good to just work with the true and pure things. But then again, it's case by case. There are people who have certain type of conditions or ailments, like I'm talking about skincare mm. or whatnot, they that need might those, need. Those mixing parts. Yes, they mm. might need. That's why we have dermatologists, right? That's why we have skincare doctors who can then prescribe chemical exfoliants, chemical peels. But for a day-to-day -day managing, bringing out the best in your skin, I totally believe in the power of natural and organic nice, skincare. Nice. Um, let's talk about your affiliation with the Bona Expo yeah, sure. and you are, like I said, the ambassador in Nigeria. Yeah. And what is it all about? And what is the intent of the Expo? I know it has, it is about bringing back that love of natural organic products to yeah. Nigeria. Yeah. So your affiliation with Yeah, them. so Bona stands for Botanic and Organic Natural Expo, exhibition. We are really just about doing what we've been talking about, exhibiting and sensitizing the public on the importance of clean beauty brands, 
clean ingredients, green beauty, really mm. showcasing the power of mother nature on this continent. So it's all about bringing you as a consumer in, bringing brands, bringing financiers, bringing scientists all together to culminate in one place. It's the premiere edition and really just showcasing the power of this industry, right? On every different value chain from the mm. farmers all the way to the consumers. And so we'll be gathering for two days and that's what we're gonna be talking about, botanical, organic, and natural brands. So I know you're gonna have a master class. Yes. So what is your master class about? Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to be speaking all about green beauty business planning and structuring. Okay. You know this topic has become a hot topic, right? But mm -hmm. it's no longer a trend. It's actually here to stay. It's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Natural skincare, organic is a lifestyle. People are choosing an organic life. So I'm going to be talking about if you want to get into this industry, how do you structure mm -hmm. and plan your business to be sustainable, mm -hmm. to really make an impact? You know you can start a brand tomorrow. You can mix something in your kitchen, and we don't hear about it in six months. Mm. Or you can build a brand and really structure it and plan it in a way where it can actually make an impact globally. Mm. And the opportunities are out there for that. Well, how is it to build a brand? You know, of course, access to funds, all the yeah. challenges that you now want to go into organic, when you can go into just mixing products and all that. So, I mean, you have to have staying sustainable power. Sustainable is that? <laughs> you have to be resilient. You okay. have to have staying power. It's definitely not easy, especially in this part of the world. Mm. But the truth of the matter is we miss a lot of fundamentals here. A lot of entrepreneurs miss what I'm going to be talking about, the importance of structuring and business planning. If you plan, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So it's hard, but is it possible? Very much so. It's mm. very doable. And this is a very, very lucrative and big industry to be a part of. Mm. So um, for all the people that want to attend, what are the things they can, the major things they will be getting from this expo? Yeah, so things like the master classes, loads of information. We're gonna have like an award-winning entrepreneur who's created skincare products from Canada. She's African descent. She's gonna be speaking about how she did, how she built a, mil a multi-million dollar beauty brand, that's Oyeta. We're gonna be speaking to, you're gonna hear from people like myself who mm. have been building from here, from Nigeria, um, distributing globally. You're gonna hear from others around the world, African correspondents, um, the wow. US correspondent. You're also gonna be able to meet brands. Mm. So all you brands out there, no matter how small or big you are, you can come and meet different brands in the space, baby care, skin care, hair care. You'll meet them, engage with them mm. as well, and then you'll also just be able to learn information mm. and be a part okay. of something that's the first. Okay, so majorly the African beauty market yes. in Nigeria right now, where are we? Where are we? We are in infant stages. I'm honestly <sighs> I'm speaking the truth. We we think we hear about things like Korean beauty. Yes. Have you heard? Yes, the I K have. Beauty the movement. K Beauty These people have created a 12-step skincare regime and made it public, made it popular globally. Where are we? We have more ingredients than them. Mm. You know, we have institutions that can actually study our nuts. I mean, someone can do an entire paper on the power of kola nut mm. or the power of uzuza leaf mm. for skincare. So we're actually in infant stages, but you know what? That presents a major opportunity because hmm. it means that many people can join forces, get together and really push this sector. Let's make African beauty mainstream. Let's make a beauty a buzzword globally. And that's what Bona Expo is all about. But, but what did you think the major reason is because everyone wants to purchase mm. name Broad. brands. Mm -hmm. If it's not this brand, or for example, I do a chemical peel and this, these are names they recommend yeah. you use and this product. So yeah. nobody's recommending Nigerian products. How did those companies get there? So that's the, that's those are the, the issues. So it's almost like the stakeholders in the industry say, I want to do a process, I recommending these foreign brands. You got it. Well, you see, you got a point, but it took those foreign brands to be able to put themselves out there and be intentional about showing storytelling, showing the power. Where are the African brands that want to do that? Well, I'm happy to say there are some of us now, mm. and that's what this is all about. It's time for us to showcase our worth, distribute our products globally, really storytell. I mean, mm. think about the power of telling the story of mm. how this shea butter is amazing for your baby's skin or for your own skin, you know, for eczema. Just showcase, now is the time, and that's what this expo is going to do. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's going to be a little sensitizing because already average Nigerian thinks if I don't use this particular white thing, yeah. I'm in <laughs> another <laughs> conversation of bleaching. That's yeah. the totally it's the topic. It's you don't have I time. know, I know, <laughs> but yeah. So it's that landmark, right? Yeah, it is. Um, on March 30th and 31st. Okay. And of course, um, 
Honestly, I just want Nigerians and Africans mm -hmm. to know about okay. the power of organic skincare. So come to Landmark 30th and 31st. Register at BonaExpoAfrica.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Welcome at BonaExpoAfrica.com is the email address. And you can find them on social media. Mm. Thank you so much, Icy. Thank I you. know that it would be nice to take you up on other topics, but yes. not today. <laughs> and um, organic is the way to go. This conversation is coming up. We'll be talking about this a lot more. And of course, it's all about selling Africa to the world. So be part of the movement. We'll take another break. And when I come back, it's movies. And you know when you see Ewoma here, oh, you know what we're talking about. It's Silverbed Film Distribution with the movie. We'll be right back.